Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of maxilla. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Starting with the general information. Maxilla is a paired bone and it takes part in the formation of orbit, nasal cavity and in the formation of septum between the cavities of the nose and mouth. It consists of two parts the body and the four processes which are frontal alveolar palatine and zygomatic process we will discuss each of these parts separately and see what all anatomical features they possess starting with the body of maxilla the body has a large maxillary sinus which communicates with the nasal cavity by a wide opening called the maxillary hiatus let's have a look as you can see, these bones shaded in the green are the maxilla. And this is the medial view of maxilla. This large sinus which you can see is the maxillary sinus. The body of maxilla has four surfaces, which are anterior surface, infratemporal or posterior surface, nasal or medial surface, and orbital or superior surface. These surfaces have different anatomical features, so let's discuss them, shall we? Starting with the anterior surface. The anterior surface is concave. In the center of this surface, there is canine fossa. The anterior surface is separated from the orbital surface by the infraorbital margin and from the infratemporal surface by the zygomatic process. Just below the infraorbital margin is the infraorbital foramen through which the infraorbital nerve and artery leave the orbit. The medial border of the anterior surface is formed by the nasal notch and this notch forms the anterior nasal spine. Let's have a look. So this is the anterior view of the bone. And this area shaded in yellow is the canine fossa. As we discussed that there is this infraorbital margin which separates the anterior and the orbital surface. And just below the margin is the infraorbital foramen through which the infraorbital nerve and artery leave the orbit. We also discussed that the medial border of the anterior surface forms the nasal notch which is represented by this curved line. And this notch forms the anterior nasal spine which is this little prominence. To have a better understanding, let's look this from the lateral aspect. So this small prominence which you can see is the anterior nasal spine. Next is the infratemporal surface. The infratemporal surface bears the maxillary tuberosity. The maxillary tuberosity has several small alveolar foramen leading into alveolar canals, transmitting the nerves and vessels to the upper teeth. And the inner surface of this tuberosity bears the greater palatine groove. Let's have a look. So this is the lateral view of maxilla. And here the maxillary tuberosity is present. These small holes which you can see are the alveolar canals which transmit the nerve and the vessels to the upper teeth. Third surface of body of maxilla is the nasal surface. The maxillary hiatus is seen on this surface. The lacrimal groove is between the maxillary hiatus and the base of frontal process. And the conchal crest lies in front of the nasolacrimal groove. It connects with the inferior nasal concha. Let's have a look. As you can see, this boundary outlined in the red is the maxillary hiatus. And inside is the maxillary sinus. This line marked in the yellow color depicts the nasolacrimal groove. And this curve is the conchal crest which connects to the inferior nasal concha. This is the connection of inferior nasal concha with the conchal crest. Last surface of body is the orbital surface. The infraorbital groove originates near the posterior border of the orbital surface and is converted anteriorly into the infraorbital canal which opens on anterior surface of the maxilla by the infraorbital foramen. And the alveolar canals arise from the infraorbital canal. They transmit nerves and vessels to the anterior teeth. We have already seen the infraorbital foramen and the alveolar canals. This is how it looks with the nerve fibers passing through the infraorbital foramen. With this, we complete the anatomical features of the body of maxilla. 
Now let's discuss about the processes. Starting with the frontal process. The frontal process projects upwards and joins the nasal part of the frontal bone. Its lateral surface bears the anterior lacrimal crest and the medial surface bears the ethmoidal crest for attachment of the middle nasal concha. Let's have a look. This upward projecting process which you can see is the frontal process and this boundary is the anterior lacrimal crest. Next is the alveolar process. The alveolar process bears the alveolar arc and the arc has the dental alveoli for upper 8 teeth and these alveoli are separated by the interalveolar septa. Let's have a look. So this downward projecting process is the alveolar process. And to look at the dental alveoli, we need to look the inferior view. So as you can see these sockets are the dental alveoli and they are separated by these interalveolar septa. Third process is the palatine process. This process forms the most part of the bony palate by joining the contralateral process in the midline. Let's have a look. So as you can see this yellow outline part is the palatine process. And as you can see it is joined by the contralateral process in the midline. Last process is the zygomatic process. It is the process which articulates with the zygomatic bone. Let's have a look. As you can see this red colored prominence is the zygomatic process. And it articulates with the zygomatic bone like this. With this we complete the anatomical features of the maxilla. So that is it for this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.